watching and welcome to my totally flaw movie reviews or YouTube of course and today today I've just been finished watching this a few minutes ago and about a few minutes ago actually and it's a review of um, the layer of the white worm now this film was crazy it's not it's not really a super crazy film but it's a crazy film it's, um, um, it's like it's kind of got a sense the film's got a sense of humor and I, I like thing is character in it um, who plays the crazy you know she's kind of crossing the world with a human being um, or a vampire in a way. Okay, let's read the back. Hugh Grant, Amanda Donahoe, and Catherine Oxenberg star in this makes a heart stop in horror and can be humour. James D. Hampton, Hugh Grant, returns to his country in castle in England. It's got a nice castle, by the way. It's a great, it's, yeah, it's a really nice place. Uh, legend has it that James' distant ancestors once slayed the local dragon, a monstrous white worm with fondness for sweet flesh of virgins. The young lord dismisses, dis, dismisses the legend as folklore until archaeology student Angus Flint explores James' property and unearths a massive reptilian skull and a pagan snake's god's ancient site of worship. When James' virtuous girlfriend Eve Trent Oxenberg suddenly disappears, James and Angus set out to investigate. For Bolden Caven said to be the worm's lair where the centuries of old mystery begins to uncoil. Um directed by kind of stuff. Um Yeah, this, I haven't seen this for a long, long time. I think I only saw it once. And the film certain parts of this film seem to stick out in this film, especially the last bit with the um the girl that was um <coughs> tied up and she almost gets um uh what what can you say? Anyway, let's see. The last part was quite interesting. Even I was like, "Oh, this is getting interesting." Um, yeah, this film's kind of got right moments in it. I was like, "Jesus Christ, she's great in it." By the way, she's uh, she's very right. And she's very kind of like she's very sexy in the film. I admit, I was like, "Whoa, oh my goodness me!" Um, I see the guy. In the, actually, Doc Two's in this too. By the way, Peter Capelli. Um, he plays like he plays this friend who, who actually under. Earth's this uh, skull at the beginning of the film, and um, yeah, that scene was quite cool. It's like a big skull, snake skull, or something. What it is, it's like a skull, and it's a big skull, of course. Um, uh, thing is, character, um, her the cover, she finds out, out, out about it, and um, and it's interesting, of course. It's very interesting. There's one part in the film where you find out thing is, this girl's um, family's disappeared, right? Because she's telling the thing is, character, um, Captain's character. Peter Capel at the um, is it um, Angus Flynn. She was she's they walk through the woods, right? Um, of course, she starts telling them about the uh, parents disappearing, of course, and of course, and then you think, oh, that's interesting. And then later on in the film, um, what happens in it? That's right. There's the, 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 this uh, this police officer turns up at in is at the house, and then. Um, and they're talking about you know certain things about certain things. Um, and anyways, he goes to the house. And that's right. He goes investigating at this big house where this, this woman lives, where she lives, of course. And she's quite. Mm. <laughs> and he gets bitten or something. And he gets. And then literally she pops up out of nowhere. And then she's like sucking all the stuff out his foot. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, how lucky can you get? <laughs> you can't get that lucky in one day. Hell, she's like sucking his feet. He's, like sucking his. <laughs> And she admits she's quite right, you know. There's one part of the film that's probably my favourite scene in the whole world. I was like, hmm. <laughs> I was like, hmm. Hmm. Anyway, I hope happens. Uh, so I hope something happens. Anyway, I, was, I kept seeing that, I think. Yeah, she. And then she goes. To, no, she finds out about the skull, then she goes to the house. She finds the skull, looking around, of course. No one's there. The, the, it's like a farm. Um, then she spits on this. Then so what happens is you actually see her teeth or something. She spits on this cross, that like venom and stuff. And it's and I'm thinking, oh, that's a pretty cool scene actually. I was like, wow, this film's got some great freaking of, of um, stuff that that they do in this film. It's got, it's got a sense of humor too. I like the she's got a sense of humor. Um, this one, oh, that's crazy. This one, this guy for he asks for a lift right, so she takes him to his ass. Um, then she's giving him a bath or something. And then she does switch to my mic. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's like painful to watch. Just so it's, and then after when she does what she does, she goes, "You smell beer or something." So 
She has a sense of humour. She's quite interesting looking too. A uh, very attractive woman. Um, when I skipped to that scene, I think, wow, what a scene. Uh, there's one part where the, they've explored the cave, right? Of the friends that the, you know, whatever. Uh, Hugh, Gr Hugh Grant's character, Capri's character. And then, of course, one of the women goes, she was like, interested. Of course, because in the film, they found, they looked in the cave before, but they couldn't find anything. For a, a lot of our lost parents, um, was it lost parents? Of the watch, so where's the watch? I can't remember now. I think it's up to her parents, I don't know. Um, or the watch, so. Um, so anyway, she goes home on her home, home once. She has a split up. And guess what? Attractive, crazy snake woman is up on the tree, like, and I'm thinking, oh, this is getting interesting. Because the girl's like, quite, you know, very attractive looking, the blonde girl. Um, and she, she somehow hypnotizes her, and she takes her to somehow, she goes home with her, and of course, wow, I was like, she's on one of those freaking sun, sun, sunbeds and she's like naked completely naked and i think he's like taking she's asking uh, the girl to take her clothes off and that scene was quite something i mean this film should be horror can't be a right to kind of scene because it still sort of definitely right moments in it um yeah i really enjoyed it like i said it's been a while since i watched but some certain parts do stick out in this film oh la, la, that was that mm, interesting so anyway, she's getting her clothes off, right? She's, just, she's text, you know, she's about to take her top off, right? She's about to get nude, completely nude, of course. So she's, te she's just got her bottoms off and stuff, so she looks, she looks quite nice. Anyway, so anyway, she starts talking about her, you know, <laughs> and she's and she comes close to her, right? She's got like, you know, and then she starts putting this stick. Oh, it's like a long stick thing, I don't know, and touching in the, you know, private parts, and it's. It's just, the, the scene sticks out very much in a good way, because I was like, hmm, I hope something happens right now. I really, really hope something happens to, uh, to these two. It would, it's a shame, it's a shame, you know, it would have been a boy. Hmm. Anyway. It's, it's a good scene, I was like, hmm. Anyway, anyway, what am I doing? What am I, oh, yeah, I'm, oh, that's right, I'm watching the film, aren't I? So I'm, I'm getting too distracted, you know. So anyway. There's a lot happens in this film. I was like, it's an hour and a half film, but it's got some great freaking creepy moments in it. And like I said, it's a long time I've seen it. I can't remember what year it is. Uh, 1988, so it's before he did Four Wins in the Funeral, Hugh Grant. So, um, yes, that's it. That's the name. Sammy Davis. But yeah, the thing about uh, Venom, it can affect other characters. So it's like a, it's like a, a vampire bite. But this is different because um, it... They can go, they're not vampires, they're like, but it kind of has that same effect on people. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good move, I enjoyed it, it's really good. Uh, so anyway, that scene was great, and so that last bit I was like, I hope something happens. Cause, and usually I'm like, I hope she gets risky, but one after one, I saw, mm, okay. <laughs> so yeah, it's got some, I want to say the act, some of the acting is the best, I don't know. Some of the acting is pretty decent, it's not the strongest piece of acting I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, like I said, she's kind of like a snake vampire, whatever she is, because you see him as a, you know, whatever she is, like a white, um, she was crossing a smurf and a vampire, I don't know, um, I haven't seen in the film, there's another scene in the film, I like where the thing is character, Hugh Grant's character, starts playing the music to, to distract the freaking white worm, uh, the woman, the crazy woman, I don't know, the vampire, snake woman chick, um, and she she said to distract her for the other people, to, the the uh, his friends to go to the to go inside and check the, the place out. Of course, it doesn't quite go to plan for certain. You know, it's like oh shit, you know, because um, when they go in, in a certain part of the room, like their mother's like sitting in a chair watching like a a, tea, a video of us get a person with a snake or something. It's kind of weird, and uh, that's kind of creepy. Um. But yeah, solid perform decent performance. Like I said, decent performances, decent effects. Um, but the last part is freaking great. I mean, it's one. It's a scene where, uh, I'll get to the scene right now. I'll just cut this video short. Um, the scene where the, the girl's like, I think his character's been bitten, right? Um, Capullo's character, Capullo was not that too. He's been bitten, of course. He's down the stairs. Uh, one game. Um, uh, one of the girls chained. Uh, like is chained up. Sort of. Yeah, you know, it's like she's chained up. I think it's chained. And the other girl is like tied up, uh, and she kind of does it, puts some thing over her like this thing over her, head. and then she starts walking upstairs, and she's got this big finger sticking out, and it's like, oh my god, what is going on? 
And it's kind of like, oh, okay, <laughs> I've never seen this before. And she kind of like, just about to, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, the girl's like half naked, so it's like, oh, they're not complaining. So anyway, but yeah, that scene was pretty cool. And I was like, geez, did we see the big snake at the bottom of the, the pit? Um, but yeah, the film's got some good effects, so it still looks a bit, you know, still got the humour and stuff like that. And, um, but yeah, it's a good film. Like I said, it's been a while since I last watched this film. And, this is the first time I watched it since then. I think I might have watched it twice. I don't know, um, but I cannot remember watching it since then. Um, some of the characters do get visions. Um, the girl in it, after when she touches the cross, when she did woman's spat on it, she gets this weird, creepy vision. It's quite creepy, actually. I was like, Jesus Christ! And then Fingers character, Hugh Grant's character, gets like a dream sequence, and that to me mind, remind me of a David Lynch freaking movie. Creepy, weird, and it makes no sense, but. Um, yeah, kind of makes no sense, but he's on a plane, and then, I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, it's a good scene, though. The dream sequences are quite cool, and, and so, yeah. You see, like, Jesus Christ on the cross and stuff, and you see snakes and stuff, and weird shit, and all. You see, like, orgies and stuff, like, it's weird, it's, like, crazy. Um, but yeah, apart from that, a good movie, so yeah, I enjoyed this. Good, good, uh, what I liked about it. Good characters. Um... Decent effects, not bad effects at all, like, Jesus Christ, especially when the venom comes out of her mouth and stuff like um, And some creepy moments in it, genuinely creepy, I was like, cool, that's creeper. But at the same time, very nice moments in that, right, kind of, right moments that you think, hmm. So yeah, um, is it right to find these scenes right? I mean, crazy. Um, actually, I think it's pretty right, it's not right, it's not enough to find... Girls in distress who get seduced by other women. No, you know, it's, that's fine to find that over. Okay, I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, the rating I'm going to give this film. And if, okay, right, before, okay, what? Okay, let's get to the part where I like what I liked and what I didn't like about the film. Okay, so what I liked about the film, sort of decent performances. The characters were great. Sammy Davis is great in it. She's great. She's whew, super great. Girls are great. Very nice. Um, and Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Grant is not bad at this, actually. He's not bad at the film. And for a horror film too, he's not, you know, you don't often see him in horror films, but in this, I think the first horror film he's ever done. Um, he's not bad at this, actually. Um, now, what I didn't like about it? I don't know. Nothing really. I enjoyed it. Right, you know what's Um, I don't know. What did I like about it? I don't know. Okay, what I didn't like about it is no lesbian action. That's that's the only thing I didn't like about it. The only thing that bugs me about this film is there's, there's a scene with two women and you think she could have, you know, kissed or anything, but I would have been fine with that. But, um, but yeah, there's no lesbian action. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. But it was, it was close enough, I suppose. Close enough, so yeah. So the rating I want to give this film is a 8 out of 10. Really enjoyed it. Um, <coughs> yeah, uh, 8 out of 10 for... The Lair of the White Worm. Good movie. Definitely worth checking out. If you haven't seen it on the shelf, just pick it up and watch it. It's quite nice. It's quite a good movie, I'd say. So anyway, that's my review of the Lair of the Black, uh, White Worm, whatever. Um, yeah, I enjoy it. Like I said, I enjoy it. It's one of those movies I've, I've not seen for a while. And you know what? I enjoyed it just as much as the first time, you know. So yeah. So yeah, 8 out of 10 for that movie. So anyway, people, go subscribe to the channel and uh, have a nice new year. See you later, boy.